Hi, I'm uh, I'm Rick Alvarez, and and this is cut the tape. Um, I gotta do this quickly. All right, so this is this is an oldie. Uh, the tape actually has been cut on this just to make sure that the right items were in there, but I've never removed it from the box. This is Fun Publications Figure Subscription Service 5.0. Uh, figures one and two, I think. I completely forgot who's in here. So this will be a nice little surprise, because I don't, I don't know. You hear that? It was my kids. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I don't know who's in here. I worked on the first couple of years of figure subscription service while I was at Hasbro. Uh, so this will be, uh, this will be a nice little treat. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, so it's got it's a it's a plain mailer box, right? It's got my address on it, which you know. It's got a foam lid to protect the figures. Let's see who's inside. Yes, this is the guy who came with Pack Rat. Uh, I forget his name. This is the pre-Beast Wars version of him. So this guy uses the uh, pterosaur head. This is RC from Generations of the Paradrone Medic. Completely forgot the club made this. This little guy has a Predacon symbol on him. I don't know who that is. And then there's like a little... Looks like it want to be shuttered glass, but it's not shuttered glass. It's uh, it's one of the little MicroMasters, but it's got it's got the little Autobot symbol on it. So I don't know if that comes with RC or not. Is that supposed to be a MicroMaster? All right. So the foam comes out, and inside we just have things just kind of thrown in there. So it is Fractal. Thank you, Fractal. Instructions and a bio card come sealed in a little baggie. This is Scorponok. This is the uh, little figure that came with uh, Metroplex. Is that a new HUD? I don't even think that's a new HUD. This is supposed to be Dawn of Futures Past Scorponok. It's tiny. It's been a while since I transformed this figure, so it's pretty cool. I am surprised that this figure never came out with um, anywhere else other than with Metroplex, and obviously here for the club, but. A pretty simple transformation. Weapon's kind of cool. It kind of looks like it's, uh, you know, the, the pinchers of a scorpion. So that's supposed to be Dawn of Futures Past Scorponok. I mean, I like the idea. I don't mind him being a car. It's just the size that kind of gets me. All right. So we have a gun here and a bag <clears throat> for a fractal. Quick Slinger. He's a triple changer. This, I think this was a MicroMaster. so tiny or is this one of the target masters I don't know it's supposed to function as a target master that's why we use pressure fits because we can just snap pieces back on if this was the 80s that would have been broken uh, all right so one thing that happened with my RC when I opened her the hands broke right away um, I can already tell you the hands on this version feel a lot steadier. They feel like they're made from a different plastic because they don't have as much give. <clears throat> Paradrone Medic is really one of those figures that's like, do we really need it? But yeah, I know it's a, it's a common RC repaint. Is it really necessary? 
Um, so I think the club was, was a good place for this figure. Pretty simple transformation. Yeah. All right. That's cool. I mean, I've been putting out my, uh, my chug stuff lately, my generation stuff. So, um, as I get more into displaying that here in the basement, um, it's become necessary for me to go back and actually open these up and pull the figures out. <clears throat> She's got her, uh, her little baggie of accessories here for swords. We'll leave those in there. And, uh, let's give her the green weapon. She doesn't need both. I, you know what? I don't want to think of it as a, we'll give her the white one. Cause I don't want to think of it as, as a weapon. I want to think of this as a medical device. She's going to do some healing. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is a bit weird that the hand seems to be a different plastic because it didn't break. As soon as I put the weapon in my RC, she broke. So this, I mean, overall, this just feels like it's a better quality than the one that was released at a retail. Okay. <clears throat> Real quick, let's, uh, let's do Fractal. Um, I was a big, big, I mean, I am a big fan of Beast Wars. I've got Beast Wars tattoos. I have a huge Beast Wars collection. I have, uh, I've got a couple of, uh, special items, some, uh, some special samples, maybe some artwork hanging around of, uh, Beast Wars. I love it. Uh, I love the Dawn of Futures Past set. I was particularly proud of, uh, the work we all did on that one. And here's Fractal. The Pack Rat came in that weird box set. It was like, just... Here, random people put together a box set. I don't remember what year that was. Uh, I didn't go to that box con. I had lost interest at that point. All right. So there's Fractal. This, this is definitely a win. This is like, yeah, it's okay. I got her. Uh, you know, if you're a completionist, you kind of have to have the Paradrone Medic. Yep, that feels good. Uh, this feels like a little bonus. And the Scorponok is weird. Uh, just because of his size. That's the only thing that bugs me. It's the size. If Even if he was like a deluxe size, it'd be a lot better. But the size is weird. It's kind of like invoking movie Scorponok. Um... All right, we'll put all this crap back. Let's see here. We got this. Put that in there. All right, put this back in here. Put that in there. Real, real simple. Just keeping it simple this week. That's all. We don't have to go crazy every single week. Just keeping it simple. I got these at uh, Big Lots. They were 12 bucks at Big Lots. These are awful. I mean, they're so bad. It's like comical how bad they are. Uh, I only found uh, uh, Bumblebee and Megatron. I assume there's an Optimus. Uh, of course, there has to be an Optimus, right? So, uh, but they're part of the brand. And so I thought, you know what, 12 bucks? Yeah, that's fine. It, you know, very generic. Is it movie? Is it prime? Is it G1? It's just Bumblebee. It's, it's a Bumblebee. If this is your first Bumblebee, if you're like a four-year-old, this is the appropriate Bumblebee. If you're 40 years old, this is an, a curiosity to put on a peg and then put something in front of it. So it, it serves a purpose. I bought it. Uh, I have no regrets buying it. It's just I didn't buy a second one to open. I don't have a need to open one of these. So this is just like, hey, I got it to have it to look at it to if i ever need it for anything it's there uh it's part of the brand curiously though it has okay it has the g1 logo for a second there i thought it had the movie logo 
but it, no, it has it has the G1 logo. So it's just Transformers, more than meets the eye, robots disguising as other things and uh, whatnot. So okay, I gotta go.